Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to give you a short reading to bring in a message that you may need to hear. Let's see. Take whatever resonates with you, leave the rest behind as always, and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. My loves, my fishies, the manifestation sessions are gone. Okay, they're going to be gone very, very soon. You can book one in September if you really wanted to have one and for whatever reason you haven't booked it. This will be a time they're going to be completely off, out of the website, unavailable for I don't know how long, but probably a while. Okay, so just, you know, if they come back at all. I don't know. You know, you guys know that I like to sort of flow with what my intuition is telling me. And right now, that's what it is. Okay, look at this. You got the Sun card. First card in the whole deck, Pisces, the Sun card. Leo energy, very bright and shiny, happy, happy card that brings in a very refreshing sense of vitality, a very refreshing sense of happiness, joy. I'm sorry, guys. I cut the video a little bit just to see if the zooming, yeah, got corrected okay so yeah the sun happiness joy good health good luck abundance all things good is showing up as the main energy for your life at this time so this sun energy is definitely going to illuminate all areas and it's going to be in a very warm very soothing way um almost melting all of the harshness out of your life with the Five of Swords, I get a feeling, Pisces, that you are not one to participate in conflict, but other people may have a lot of conflict around you. Like, petty things, very petty things that you could be dragged into if you are not careful, but it does seem here that you're focused on your happiness and that you're not really giving room to anybody else's drama uh, to take your energy. But there will, there could be people wanting to try, okay? In the recent past, with the Seven of Pentacles here, things have taken a little bit longer than you would like. I think that you're learning to find peace and happiness in the journey, not necessarily the destination. Some of you have been waiting for something for quite some time, and you're wondering if you continue to wait, are you ever going to be happy? Maybe it's better to just be happy right now without it. And that I feel is going to definitely um, speed up the process as it does. I see that you have planted a lot of seeds in things that are very important to you at work, projects, personal things. You have planted a lot of seeds, you have focused you have tended to those seeds. You have charged them with a lot of love. But sometimes you may feel like it's just not really showing. And I'm getting in my mind a bamboo plant. I've gotten this before for you, Pisces. Those plants, you, you know, plant the seeds and it seems like there's nothing happening for a long time. And then like overnight, it seems, this huge tree shows up. And that is the feeling that I'm getting, that some of you are choosing to make the best out of your circumstances, that you're waiting, but you're also learning to wait with joy. And in the near future, I get a sense that you're going to be very grounded, standing your ground, speaking your truth. You're going to be... You're not going to be afraid to speak your mind, even if others don't like it. I feel like you're going to set great boundaries in the future for yourself and you're going to sustain them. And this is going to bring to you a lot of abundance, prosperity and good health. It's almost as if you get the sun card, right? You get all of the blessings and in the near, fu near future, I see you doing everything right to protect those blessings. You know, cutting off toxic people, setting boundaries with people who may bring in fears or insecurities or conflict or drama into your life. 
You're going to be placing very good boundaries, and that is what that's going to be the key for this sun energy, all of these blessings to prosper and manifest in your life. You got the hermit. So remember that when you are in your solitude, that's when you can best hear the voice of spirit, the voice of God. And, you know, a little meditation here and there, journaling, walks in nature, anything like that could be very beneficial for you to be aware on a deeper level what is going on. We got the fool in the energy that is representing you at this time. So I see that you're very excited, Pisces, for the new things. It's a brand new day, brand new song. <laughs> I get a feeling that by you focusing on today in the present moment and not necessarily waiting or future focusing, there's an injection of joy and vitality in today. In your environment, though, there could be someone who's going through a really hard time. This could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. This could be an Aries. This could be a Leo. This card talks about feeling left out in the cold, feeling abandoned, feeling rejected. Someone may want to try to come back into your life, someone you've cut off for whatever reason, and you may not want that. And they may make um, like a lot of drama and like they may victimize themselves in all sorts of ways because of it. But it seems here that you'd rather be alone than with bad company. And it seems here that you are ready to set all the boundaries in place that you are good on your own. I get a feeling this person is going to be a little bit more dramatic. They're going to put on a show to try to like get you back victory here some of you are you have your eyes on the prize you know exactly what you need to do to get to your victory you have a plan most likely because this sun card this sun energy has illuminated any doubts it has kind of like gotten you into the right path now you know exactly what to do and if you do what you have to do you're gonna get what you're old, is what I hear. You're going to get what is yours, Pisces. I get a feeling that some of you are coming back into a very loud energy of success. But now you're going to be doing things differently. Now you're going to be handling that victory like a boss. Not like a newbie. Temperance. Spirit is telling you here... Remain in your center. The better you feel, the better everything flows, okay? They're telling you here to focus on your well-being, to meditate, spend time with nature, spend time with spirit, take care of your physical body, take care of your mind. And you're going to see that every day there's going to be maybe just a little bit of progress, just a little bit barely noticeable. And all of a sudden, like the bamboo plant is just going to, you know, be shoot into the air. It's kind of like a, a massive leap. And enjoy today. Try your best to be in the present moment, enjoying what you have to do today, what you want to do today, the people that are in your life today. And even if there's something very, very important that's coming around the corner, Try your best to be focused in the present, because that's where your energy is, really. All right, Pisces? Guys, if you would like to book a manifestation session, they're going to be gone. Okay, so if you want to book it, it's going to have to be in September. I'm going to be finishing the ones that are already booked in October, and then they will be gone. Or ever, or, you know, maybe I'll bring them back, you know, at some point, but... I have no plans to, okay? All right, my loves, I'll see you in the next reading. All the relevant information, as always, will be in the description box below, including website, merch, online courses, meditations, and all sorts of goodies. Remember that in the website, you have a lot of free stuff that you can download today.
Really cool stuff, by the way. Alrighty, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.